Okay, good day, folks. We're here with another uh, unboxing. This time it's uh, for the game Super Fantasy Brawl by uh, Mythic Games. So it's a big, uh, big Kickstarter box. This one, Kickstarter edition uh, or deluxe edition, and uh, we're also looking at um, one of the expansions or, or one of the first expansions for Super Fantasy Brawl, which has uh, three extra heroes you can uh, play with here. So that's uh, the Force of Nature. So we'll have a quick look at the uh, the big main box here. Let's have a look. So it's a, it's a hefty box. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a um, sort of arena style, arena combat style game. We have the uh, different heroes battling it out against each other in a sort of gladiatorial style match. Um, and it's for two, two or four players. So you can play one v one or um, team of two players uh, versus another team of two players. But I think when you play, I think you still always control a faction of three heroes, whether that's um, yourself or between two players. I think that might be right. Um, goes for about 30 to 40 minutes, looks like it says here, 14 and up on the box. Um, and it's important to note these, like they look great here, these models, and, and the models are quite detailed and they, they look really nice. I like that model. You, you, which one do you like? Oh, this one here. Yeah. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Um, so... Uh, but yeah, these, these models uh, are not painted in the box, so you have to do your own, um, oh, here we go, miniatures in the box are not painted, yeah, so you have to have to do your own painting, um, but if you do like painting, if you enjoy painting, it looks like these can be uh, painted up quite nice because there's quite a bit of detail on the model. So for board game minis, these are these are quite good. So um, yeah, Super Fantasy Brawl, I think the, the story is that uh, wizards in this world bring uh, heroes and and various um, baddies and things from different time periods together and sort of pit them in a what if uh, sort of scenario uh, in this arena combat and then uh, send them back to their own time periods once they've uh, done battling so um, yeah <laughs> funny concept but uh, just an excuse to get lots of different models um, on the board so that's quite good um, and then if we just have a quick look here uh, force of nature so this one here uh, it's a, three packs so three heroes there here, here you go and you can see uh, this is what the models look like um or at least this is a it looks like a render of the, the models i'm sure we'll see them in just a sec but yes yeah, so they do come unpainted let's have a look in this uh big box here so oh, let's open her up okay let's have a look here so this is the yeah lots of little uh game trays in there so box full of those and this is the rule book so uh, we've got some background some law there um, introduction uh, all the components and uh, you might have seen these just before when I showed you the, the boxes but uh, not only does it come with these models here all these different heroes but um, these big statues here, which is like objective um, objective markers, are actually represented by giant statues in the game. So that's pretty awesome if you're into minis. Um, and here you can see the arena, and so it looks like yeah, these are the points that you put those uh, statues on. So <laughs> not really necessary, but uh, very awesome uh, nonetheless. <laughs> you might say that they are necessary. Okay, so we've got the game set up there. Uh, different ways to, to play so you can just sort of have a casual game or you can sort of do a competitive draft game round Play of turns Break down to the cards there. So lots looks like the the rules are quite um, quite good go into a lot of detail lots of explanations and diagrams um, Okay, I won't go too much into the rules. Uh, you can put traps out so around the objectives and things like that as well um, yeah, drafting, game rules, and yeah, four player variant, Super Team Tornado, so I think you can play 2v2. Um, yeah, interesting. So, index on the back here. Um, so what should we look at first? I guess we'll look at the, the heroes. Um, so here you go, so each of the, um, sort of sets of three, uh, heroes come in these game trays here. Um, and they sort of come double, double laid in there. So have a look at these, Maisie. What do you think? Let's yeah. get my hand out of the way there, sorry. Wow, what do you think of that? What is it? That's a giant rat man with big fists. Uh -huh. So he's like a little assassin or something, I think. So 
It's pretty cool. And then what's this one? Oh, thanks, bud. Oh, he's big. What he's is like he? a big troll, I think. I think. He's like a troll king or something. Yeah. Like a bionic arm there and bionic leg. It's pretty scary. What's this one? Oh, let's bring that one out here. Um, oh, yep. So she looks like some sort of a crossbow, like an archer or something. Oh, yes, she's got a trap. Look, Macy, she's got traps. I think she sets traps. She's like a hunter or something. Yeah. Okay. So they came in that first set here, and you can see they're a little bit um, not too bad. But you, there's a little symbol, I think, that reminds you which character goes in which. So if you're familiar what, with what those symbols are, you should be able to put them, put them back in there. You can pop the lid back on, so that's pretty good for storage and sort of setting Let's them up. Let's try the other one. They're pretty huge. Another one? Okay. This one? Oh, you want that one? Yeah. All right. <laughs> and if we have a look here, oh, just before you grab that, Maisie. So they kind of stack on each other in there, so they're sort of designed to sort of sit on top of each other, I think. So let's put this one off to the side. Have a look at the next three. Can a five-year-old open these? Yep, there you go. They're pretty easy to use. Oh, what's he? Whoopsie. Oh, yeah, he's a big... Oh, this guy big has orc. a sword. This guy has a sword. That guy's got a sword. Look at this sword. You call that a sword? Look at this thing. Or is yeah. that a mallet? <laughs> okay. This one is oh, a pointy he... sword. It is a pointy sword. Let's bring this one into the view. Oh, okay. So he's like a... I don't see a wolf. Werewolf, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, he's cool. Look at this scary thing. Oh, let's have a look. I like that bone armor. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like a dinosaur, like a raptor or something. Ooh. And look, a little, there's a little person on there with a little blow, blow dart. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Very different character there from the first two we saw. Okay. Where'd that one go? I think this big guy goes in here, doesn't he? Yeah. There we go. Can we put the last one in? Good work. Look at that. He worked that out pretty well. Okay. Now I think we should look at this one. Okay. Oop. Have I got it? Here it is. Yeah. Okay. I'm kind of taking over, over my video here, Macy. Okay, what have we got here? Uh, everyone, this is Macy, by the way. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, she's helping us out today, I guess. Um, oh, I like this guy. He's like the tiger, the tiger general. Yeah. Yeah, he's really cool. Oh, hold on, Maisie. Let's uh, check out his tail. Whoa, his the tail's cat tail. very good. Yeah, so lots hey, of good, he has very a sword. chunky. He's They're very chunky. He does, he's got two, doesn't he? Lots of detail on the bases. So yeah, if you're a miniature painter, like I would imagine Zorro. these are, he's like Zorro, is he? Oh, Zorro from uh, One Piece. Yeah, yeah. okay. So you're saying Zorro from the... Um, oh, well, the Mask of Zorro uh, type Zorro, but I don't think he's the same one. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. All right, let's put him put him down. Did he go here? Uh, did he go in this one? I think he went in the other one. Oh, what have you got there? Oh, yeah, this guy, giant pirate. Yeah, and also look at his sword. Ogre pirate or something. Some of his sword has been cobbled. Oh, is that a sword or is that a harpoon or a spear? I think that's oh. a sword. You think it's a sword, do you? Okay, <laughs> it's got a long uh, handle there. Um, we have a big pirate guy. Look at this, Maisie. He's got a big chain with a anchor on the end of it. Yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? And a big treasure chest on his back. So I bet he's pretty powerful in the game. Looks very yeah. strong. Yeah. I don't know if you're getting much yeah, that detail there. That looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, he's nice. Uh, let's put him back in there. Who have you got here? Uh, oh, like a wizard or a sorcerer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she looks cool. Got some spells that she's casting. Yeah. And she's levitating in the air. Mm. Like a high elf or something. High elf mage. Hmm. Look at the ground there, all the spikes. Whoa. 
Yeah. They're not real spikes. They're not real? Okay, <laughs> that's good to know. Okay, safety first. All right, let's have a look at the next one. Here you go, you wanna do the honors and open that up? So I like this first. Oh, oh you've gone past it. Oh, actually this is my favorite. I like this girl. <laughs> you like her, okay. So, oh, oh, she's like a snake. Ooh. Is she like a snake demon or something? Yeah, she, she's a bit scary. And also, she has little spikes. Yeah, let's see if I can focus that. There we go. Oh, there we go. Look at those masks. Yeah. Like fox masks and yeah, I all like sorts of scary stuff. She's quite cool. She has pink. Yeah. Reminds me of something out of Oko Chronicles or something. Okay, let's put that down. And she has pointy spikes. Yeah. And look at this guy. He's an eagle. Yeah, big eagle guy. Eagle warrior. Whoa. Hawkman or something. That's pretty cool. Like his flaming sword. Look at that. Yeah. Mm. Look at these girls' spikes. Look at these girls' spikes. Let's have a look. Whoa. Yeah, she's very spiky, isn't she? She's got little daggers or something. Mm -hmm. And last of all, this guy. He's pretty cool. I think he's one of my favourites. I do like dwarves, so this guy is pretty nuggety for a dwarf. A round ball. He's got a yeah. cool flaming hammer, or I think in the pictures he's got like a frosty hammer, so it's like um, ice cold sort of blue flame coming off that hammer. Yeah, and he's cool. also, he's got a shield and a big horn. My favorite character is this one. Uh, yeah, 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 really. I wasn't aware of that. Okay, so but she's definitely your favourite, isn't she? Yeah, because well, she has pink. All right. Well, if we have a game a little in a little while, you'll have to be her. Okay. Okay. All right. So we've had a look at the uh, all the heroes that come in this set. So I believe this is the deluxe edition. So this uh, what did this have? This had six, twelve, twelve heroes, I think. Um, now I think if you were to get the base game uh hold on bub i think if you were to get the base game this would be you would might get six of these um rather than the 12 but i believe other characters that are in this set um that are the kickstarter sort of exclusives they're going to be coming out i think sort of released as um individual heroes uh down the track so i think if you don't get the deluxe edition you're not necessarily locked out of getting these heroes if you like the look of some of these guys i think you can get them down the track so um yeah but uh maybe check out um mythic games website or bgg to find out some more information about that rather than take my word for it um now Maisie, look at these these are the um statues um so these um these are the statues that you put in the arena and I think you sort of, these are sort of like uh, objective pieces. You sort of have to sort of be near these to score points throughout the game and things like that. So um, these are just a nice sort of 3D way to represent them on the board. Yeah, that's a good nice one, isn't it? Big wizard. Um, I like her as yeah. well. I like, I like her. Story. Yeah. Her. Okay, can I have a look at this wizard? Now this wizard, as you see, it came in the... Box. Most of these models are actually pretty sturdy and pretty solid. This one's got a bit of a bendy uh, staff here. Um, looks like where it was in the box there, it's not, not gone too great for it, but um, it's sort of got that look about it where I think if you sort of maybe, um, I, know, I don't know what people sort of say, use warm water or something like that, so um, might be able to sort of uh, bend that back into position, but um, the, the detail is nice. Yeah. Oh, feathers, oh, peacock feathers or something. Yeah, quite cool. So um, let's see if we can put that back in safely. There we go. Now look at this funny guy. He got lots of hands. See? Yeah, let's have a look. Okay. Oh, he does too. Oh yeah. Some sort of mystic. How come he has two? Hands on here and two hands on here. I don't know. Look, he's even got another. He's even got another set here. Look, see those arms coming down too. Yeah. So three sets of arms. He's it, weird. Yeah, I think it might be a girl. 
Yeah. Anyway. Uh, uh, funny cool. girl. Mm. <laughs> I wonder if these are extra arms coming out of her head. Or are they, are they horns or something? Alright. Um, they're horns. They're horns, are they? Alright. There's your definitive answer, guys. That They are horns. Maisie certified. Um, Alright, so you can see here a bit of a preview of coming up. We've got the board, it looks like, and some tokens. And then we've got some more of these... Um, Sets. Yes, it looks like cards here. We have some, so these are the cards. These are the big um, the standard size cards. And these are used to track the character itself. So you, uh, character is rep represented by this, um, these cards here. I think you have a team of three of these. Put these out on your player board. And um, the, this side here, I think is your hero when they level up, if they sort of do some sort of feat uh, in, during the game. Um, you can flip into this side. I think you can see. I think the health is the same there. Armor is the same, but this side the character gets a special ability, immune to push. So that's Goldar, um, and then these are his cards. So I think if you choose him as one of your heroes, you would put his cards in your deck. So you can see you've got a yellow card, red card, yellow, red. You've got a blue one, another blue one there, and then you get the next character. So what you would do is you would take these cards. They'd be the basis of your deck. You choose another character. So, for example, if you choose um, Su Zhao, um, then uh, you would take his character card and then add his cards to your deck as well. So you'd end up with a deck of cards from three different uh, heroes or characters. You shuffle all those all up together, and then you know when you draw your uh, cards, this would be what you sort of have to play from. So you could play a red card or a yellow card or another red card here. Um, and remembering those cores, you can only play like one red card, one yellow, and one uh, blue card each turn. But that's um, the sort of basic basics of the game there. And you can see here they do things like give you sort of special attacks or um, special rules or defense. I think some of them give you, yeah, here you go, some, this card lets you move, lets you do, uh, do an attack. Uh, and then the bonus is you get to draw, um, draw cards, it looks like, um, after you sort of deal damage. So... And funnily enough, it's called Plunder, or Plundar. So, um, yeah, that's cool. So let's have a look at these little cards. These are the challenge cards, or the challenge deck. And this is sort of how you get most of your points from the game. So this is sort of like the point of the game, is to uh, meet these objectives as you're sort of battling it out in the arena. So you can score points from defeating the opponent. And you just get one point per opponent you knock out, and then they just respawn. Um, so that's a bit of a slow way to win, but uh, these sort of can generate you more points. And you can see there are no points listed on these because the points um, are scored uh, along a track. So these cards sort of move down a track and they go up in points um, the longer they're on the track and then they sort of fall off the end of the track. Um, and I think just before they fall off the end of the track, they, they start to go down in value too. So you sort of, you might want to sort of hold off for a little while until the... the um, the objectives are sort of worth the most, but not wait too long before they sort of disappear, or if, if you, the opponent snags it before you, I guess. So, but um, yeah, so plenty of room in there for uh, sleeved cards. Lots of lots of space above there. Um, we'll have a look at the next tray. These are your clip-on uh, bases. So you the orange team or the purple team. Put these on your heroes because you can mix and match those heroes. They, they, there's no rule saying you have to use any particular hero with other heroes. Um, I think these are victory point trackers, so you just sort of, if you score a point, you get one of these little trophies, so <laughs> one of the most um, <laughs> uh, deluxe score point token I've ever seen. <laughs> All these little um, trophies, they're quite cool. Um, maybe a first player marker or flip a coin type thing for who goes first or something like that. Um, yeah, let's have... A look at the last tray, um, and here we have some more of these um, point tokens, and then these are, I think these are hit point tokens, so you can see three, three hit points there, one hit point there, used for tracking health of the heroes. Um, these, I think these are the, like the, the blue core, the red core, and the yellow core, so I think you use these, sort of have them on your board and then you sort of um, flip them over when you've 
uh, used them. So there's blue and yellow there, some red ones there as well. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, I don't know if you can see that very clearly. These are the traps. Uh, you can see that sort of like a, a bear, bear trap type thing. Um, and on the back side of those are the bonuses or the uh, effects, I should say, that you get if you trigger those. So this was like a maybe a stun symbol if you trigger that trap. I believe all these components are um, unique to the deluxe version, all these plastic pieces. Um, and I think in the base game, you get these tokens instead, these cardboard tokens, and it looks like you just get them in the, um, the Kickstarter version as well. And to be honest, I think I like these better just because they're a bit clearer. You can sort of see see what they are. I think those, I like that the others are plastic, but they just look a bit too much like, um, I don't know, like Connect Four pieces or something. They're just a bit sort of Milton Bradley sort of cheap plastic, you know, kids plastic sort of um, game pieces sort of thing. That's just, just my... Um, my point of view sort of thing, but um, yeah, as you can see here, the tr trophy things. I think, the, I think the trophy things are actually quite cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, like for the, the cores and the traps and things like that, I think I might actually use these instead. Just have to see how I go. Um, it looks like something you use there, uh, overlay on the board there, maybe for um, different player accounts that might sort of affect the, the length of the, the uh, champion or the challenge track there. Yeah, not sure. It looks like that uh, coin, that flipper coin, Thing there is represented as a cardboard token as well so that's that um, here we have the player boards so yeah you put these out in front of you this is where you lay your uh, your three character cards uh, just so you're sort of aware of who you've got and also you can keep track of if they're on their uh, advanced side or not uh, and over here this is where you put your three cores so you that's how you keep track of whether you've played a blue card or a yellow card or a red card. You sort of have the, the tokens here and you flip them over as you use them. But you can also use them for these basic basic uh, actions too. So healing and drawing a card, it looks like. Um, or just dealing a basic sort of strength one attack and maybe doing one movement with each of those. Or you can uh, spend any one of those for uh, two movement points if you just really need to get somewhere around the board or maybe claim an objective or deny someone an objective maybe. Um, so, yeah, so that's the play boards. Okay, and here we have the board. Just move this across a little bit. Um, I think you could get uh, you could get a mat too if you wanted to, so that might still be available on their website if you're interested in that sort of thing. But um, yeah, nice big board. Um, you can see here this you know the yellow zone, the red zone, the blue zone. So the statues would go in these spots here, and then they'd be the sort of objective areas. These are the starting spaces, so when you respawn or when you start the game, your heroes get placed in these spots here. And then you've got sort of like your, your waiting area where your, your sort of dead heroes or whatever go. This is like your home base. And here's your champion track or your uh, challenge track, I should say. So this is where you put your cards out. And you can see here, um, yeah, so this, is, this challenge card would be worth one point here, but if you can sort of... Hold on, you can get two points, two points, drops off to one point again and then falls off the, the board, I think. So, yeah, quite cool art. I like that. I like the um, I like the board there. But no, like everything else in the game, lots of vibrant colour. Um, yeah, one of the things that sort of drew me to the game, apart from the really good, um, you know, really nice looking models, just everything looks like, uh, you know, very colourful and inviting as a game. So... Super Fantasy Brawl, yeah, very nice. We'll have a quick look at the um, uh, expansion here uh, before I let you guys go. If you haven't turned off already, that is. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, 30 seconds into the video. Um, so, components, so you get some extra cards there for the characters, you get their decks as well. Um, and you get the three heroes. It says here you get it this game tray, although the game tray that you get doesn't look like the one uh, that's pictured there. But anyway, um, let's have a look at this. Now, who have we got here? This is Lorelei or something like that, I think, if I remember right. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in. Hmm, that zooming's not working too well, but anyway, I hope you can sort of get a bit of a sense of the detail there. So she's sort of like a forest spirit or something, or... 
Dryad, she's got a big snake there that she's riding. So she's quite cool. Um, I wonder if she sort of does a lot of entangling or poisoning or something like that. Um, what have we got here? Um, oh, Taze or something. Uh, he's like a big uh, minotaur slash uh, centaur slash uh, goat man or <laughs> whatever he is. But uh, he's quite cool. He's got some big bomby knockers there. Yeah. He's great. Big powerful looking guy. They're all, I must say, they're, they're really chunky models there. Sort of um, quite, quite sturdy. Yeah, he's cool. And last one. So what's this, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15? 15 models all up in this uh, Kickstarter package. So it's not too bad. Good, good, um, good roster of heroes to, to start the game with. Plenty of uh, replayability from the get-go with this this batch here. So got a Grim Reaper style sort of character here. Uh, Reaper of Lost Souls or something like that. So I used to do a bit of painting. I haven't done it in years, but uh, I can imagine these would be Pretty fun to paint, lots of different styles of models, different sort of effects. So, you know, if you're doing the gas cloud there or the mist or whatever it is there, you could have a bit of fun painting that. Got a little crow or something, skeletal crow on his shoulder there. Hmm. Yeah, quite cool. So that's the last hero there. Um, pop him back in there. Let's see if we can work out how to get her back in. There we go, nice and easy. Yeah, that's the expansion. That's forces or force of nature for um, super fantasy brawl, and that's the base, uh, well, the Kickstarter base game deluxe edition as well. So big game, um, big models, um, <laughs> big scenery. Well, ho hopefully big gameplay as well. So I guess uh, time will tell with that. But uh, just started sort of arriving uh, around the world. Um, to backers so it should be i guess hitting retail pretty soon too but um hope you enjoyed the the video if, you know if you if this is something you've been waiting for uh, hopefully it arrives with you soon or you've already got it um and if not hopefully this has been something that you might sort of be interested in and want to check out too so yeah enjoy your gaming thanks guys see ya want to say bye Maisie? bye bye, bye, -bye. <laughs> okay see you guys bye bye